like transgender living. Oh, it's magic. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and give a couple announcements about a couple different things that are going on. So, first things first, today is September 20th, and I'm actually going to be speaking today at uh, the GLMA, which is the Gay and Lesbian Medical Association. There's this big conference happening in San Francisco, and I'm speaking on a panel about best practices when starting a free transgender clinic, and I'm super excited about being able to be on this panel to have my opinions be valid because I did get to play a big part in uh, opening up the clinic that we have at my work and making sure that it was trans competent and trans friendly. So I'm really excited to, to do that. Hopefully if anyone um, who watches these videos is also at this conference, you should drop by and see it. It's at 1.30 today. Second announcement. Um, if anyone on here listens to Transponder, it's the transgender podcast that Mila and Jaina put on. They have made videos on here. They've been really active in the community, both online and here in San Francisco. So their most recent episode, I was actually the special guest, which was really fun. I've never done a podcast before. And it's totally different than making a video. So for like a video, you can edit things really quick. So like, like I just did because I couldn't get it out the first time. So there's lots of editing. You want to get things into like a small little package and like just, you know, after two, three minutes, people stop watching. With a podcast, we literally went for an hour, a whole hour of just talking about all these different things, about my life, my transition, about... Uh, the website I'm working on, different things like that. It was really cool. So if you haven't got a chance to check that out, please do. And speaking of the website, I want to give uh, a little update about the Indiegogo campaign that I've been working on for transgenderliving.com. And a little thing right there that will that will say, like, look, transgender living. Oh, it's magic. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Now, I've made a video in the past uh, talking about some of the things that I want to do for the website, and I'll put a link for it right there, right there. Another magic, oh my gosh. So we've raised nearly $1,000 for the site, which is amazing, and we only have two weeks left. So it is ending on October 2nd, which, by the way, is two days before my birthday. So if you would like to get me a birthday present, I'm just saying. Since I announced the project and have been working on it, I've had a lot of people step up and say, hey, we should do this, we should do that, um, which is great, which is exactly what I want out of the site. This should be a site that is by the community, for the community. It can't just be me sitting around saying, you know what I think everyone else should do? It's got to be a community project, and it really is turning into one, which is so great. Um, but one of the really exciting things that we're working on right now is a resource page. Okay, well, there are tons of trans resource pages out there on the internet. That is true. Um, but a lot of them, most of them actually, the ones that I've been able to find, are static resource pages. So what that means, like, I'll give an example, like TS Roadmaps, which is actually where I went to find a doctor to do my orchiectomy in 2008. Um, so I went on there and I had to go through all these lists and all these reviews that were from like 10 years prior to... to to then and it was just really hard to to find a current resource current information it was not hard to find a resource but one that was accurate that had relevant feedback things like that was was really hard and so what we're doing on transgender living is we're creating a resource page where everyone can submit resources. You have to be a registered member of the site. Um, that way we can kind of vet resources and make sure that uh, people who are posting them, um, like if you're posting a lot of resources and they're good resources, that just gets streamlined and sent right through. If you're brand new and posting something for the first time, it's probably going to get vetted a little bit more thoroughly. So what that's going to do, and I've talked about this before, about how the community has so much knowledge, like like, I could tell you all the places in San Francisco to go, whether you want to get hormone therapy or a support group or all these different things. I could tell you in San Francisco where to go. I cannot tell you in L.A. Um, or Boise or Salt Lake City or anywhere um, or outside the country, too. I couldn't tell you anything 
outside the country as far as resources go but you guys could and that's exactly the point so you can go on to this site not yet we're working on creating it right now um, but you can submit the resource and then people can go and they can search. You can put in your zip code or your country or whatever, and it will give you a list of resources uh, that are near you. You can even filter it to say, uh, show me all of the HIV testing sites or show me all of the support groups or surgeons or whatever. And then we're also gonna, uh, we're trying to incorporate a rating system. So you can give like a thumb up or a thumb down or rate it like five stars or four stars. You know, we'll work out the details. But the point is that it's going to be similar to Yelp. You can also comment on these sorts of things so you can see relevant comments. Oh, you know, this person retired. Oh, this person didn't or, you know, isn't great or whatever. Like, you can see active comments from people on the site and judge whether that's a resource you want to access or not. That is something I'm very excited about. And that is just on top of everything else happening on the site. So really exciting things really excited that we're raising money but again we only have two weeks left to raise as much money as we can the goal is five thousand dollars and we really want to get it because there are some really amazing things that we'll be able to create with that money um so i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys go because the construction is starting back up and so it's probably going to be obnoxious but thanks for listening uh <laughs> and i'll see you guys later bye <laughs>